WWE have never been ones to shy away from creepy, mysterious characters and storylines. Though that has been toned down a bit for the PG rating, there have been many notable superstars over the years that were just flat out scary. Since today is Halloween, Wrestling Hub presents the 5 creepiest WWE superstars. Despite having a relatively normal appearance, Jake the Snake Roberts was known for not only his love of the reptilian, but also his twisted, brutal mind. The fact that he would incapacitate opponents through fear with his python, Damien, was bad enough, but he would go much further than that. His promos were so dark and unnerving, and felt so real. He didn't scream into the mic or anything like that, but his quiet and calm speech was just creepy. In one of the scariest moments in WWE history, Jake's King Cobra bit and bloodied Randy Savage's arm. Abdullah the Butcher might just terrify you based on appearance alone, as he had massive scars on the top of his head that he regularly showed off. Abdullah would put things like poker chips and quarters into his head to show how deep the scars were. If that's not enough, the madman from the Sudan would jab his rusty fork into the heads of his opponents. Abdullah's sick, twisted mind and lack of restraint are exactly what made him so scary to fans. Far and away one of the most unique gimmicks the WWE has ever seen, the Boogeyman was downright creepy. If the face paint, staff, and style of movement weren't enough to make you a little on edge, the eating of live worms in victory might just have. Combine that with his lack of teeth and that heart he had around his neck, and we've got one scary character. Now unfortunately, the Boogeyman wasn't really used right and eventually became more of a comedic gimmick, but I know lots of people who still found him insanely creepy. Before he became The Rock's buddy and started using Mr. Socko, Mankind was truly terrifying. He wasn't in your face scary, but Mick Foley's excellent portrayal of an unhinged psycho encouraged feelings of both terror and sadness. Mankind's appearance, specifically his mask, was quite scary in my opinion. The fact he supposedly lived in the boiler room made you feel bad for him, but at the same time, when Mankind ripped out his own hair, you'd instantly get a chill down your spine. I seriously feel that Mankind is underrated when it comes to characters, but regardless, you can't deny that this gimmick was really scary. Some honorable mentions go to Kane before he was unmasked, Matt Osborne's Doink the Clown, and Nails, a crazy ex-con who legitimately attacked Vince McMahon backstage one time after claiming he had been molested. Oh, and Bray Wyatt's definitely getting up there as well. I know some of you might disagree, and that's fine. But in my books, The Undertaker is the scariest slash creepiest superstar the WWE has ever seen. Since he debuted in WWE, his appearance has always matched his incredible persona. He was relentless in his assaults on other superstars, put away opponents in caskets, and of course, rolls his eyes back like none other. As he progressed, we got an even darker version of Undertaker with the Ministry of Darkness and his satanic rituals. The supernatural element The Undertaker brings to wrestling will forever be unmatched, and for that reason, he's number one on this list. And those were the 5 scariest WWE superstars in history. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.